Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvist video and today we're gonna talk about some news that got released on the, the FFBE uh, channel on YouTube. So uh, they released a video talking about the news that's gonna come out for this month, well actually for the end of the month and for Halloween itself, but I'm gonna take a little bit uh, of time, we're gonna review the news and uh, we're gonna try to make a little bit shorter video than what they and what they did so guys if you are new to this channel please subscribe down below leave a like and let's get into those news right now so uh we're gonna have a king mog event starting on friday and you guys will be able to collect some red whoop red vials so this can be the currency for the king mog and these right here on your on my technically left on my left or on your right uh it's gonna be some of uh, the accessories that you guys will be able to get and some of these things you guys can see right here lucius only and a uh, little only basically these are gonna be the characters that we're gonna have for um the halloween event they're gonna be five stars going into seven stars and i gotta say they look really 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 nice so without further ado bam let's move on to lit it so uh i wrote some stuff here we're not gonna go into super detail but I'm going to try to move my head out so you guys can see the Trust Master right here. Uh, Midnight Star, Attack 15, Spirit 95, enables Demonization. Demonization, whoop, I'm going to try to bring my shoulder down a little bit more. Oh my god. Uh, right here, I'm out of the screen. So, boost defense and Spirit by 10% and HP by 20%. Sorry guys, I need to move out of the way. So, the way she's going to work, 5 star going into 7 star. Uh, she's going to be a... Uh, magical and physical tank so she's gonna be a little bit like bash where you're gonna be able to go from magic cover to uh, physical cover uh, also she uses her spr to do some good damaging un uh, damaging moves and uh, a lot of damage and also when she counters she can do like a multi-hit counter so she's gonna call counter for multiple times and she's gonna be able to chain counter which is really weird really really weird but yes indeed She's going to be able to chain counter with the buddy right here, Lucius, which is another 5-star going into 7-star. And his job is more of a physical attacker. I'm going to move right here. His Trust Master boost attack when equipped with fist or close. So basically, I'm pretty sure it's maybe going to be like 30% when equipped with fist and 30% when equipped with close. Uh, really high attack stat. I'm not joking. 700 that's really really high uh he's gonna be able to imbue fire and dark elements to his attack which is really really nice he's gonna be a fist weapon user uh he's gonna be able to chain with uh, octo slash also oriel ray from uh i think malfazi has that move and also lunera has that move and he's gonna be able to chain with nyx which is crazy and like i said before with lilith they're gonna be able to chain counter so the boss hits you Bang, hits everybody, they decide to hit uh, the boss and it's an AoE move, so they're just gonna hit counter and they can chain that hit counter, which is pretty, pretty crazy. And the good thing about the King Mog event, guys, I, sorry I forgot to mention it, uh, you'll be able to use those units and the previous units from Halloween as a bonus unit for the King Raid, uh, for the King Raid, for the King Mog. So if you guys have your previous Halloween units, you guys can use them and basically get more bonus stuff, more bonus currency, sh uh, sorry, and uh, get your stuff a little bit faster from the King Mog. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think we're going to get a 5-star select summon ticket, maybe. Maybe they're going to throw it in there. So maybe we're going to be lucky and they're going to throw in a 5-star select summon ticket, which we uh, would be pretty, 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 pretty nice. So uh, this is for the units. They're really cool looking. I love the sprite that they did on those characters. Uh, Lilith right here. She looks amazing. And Lucius. Look at these guys. They look amazing. I can't wait for them to come out this Friday. It's going to be sick. So, because of uh, them coming out, there's also we can also look at their Super Trust Masters right here. Which is going to be a little bit harder to get. But, you never know. You might be lucky and pull four or eight total so if you guys do pull eight total you guys are super super lucky so lilith seven star or super trust master malefic heart 
boost HP by 30% and fire and dark resistance by 50% and boost defense and then spirit when equipped with a mace which is really really nice and Lucius 7 star it's a hat glorious headpiece attack 52 enables glorious headpiece which basically boosts your attack when equipped with a fist and fills LB gauge each turn pretty pretty nice that attack 52 is really really cool um, it would be nice if they would have put like maybe a confusion resist or something like that but we never know we're gonna see exactly when the data comes out on all these units so uh, anything else do I have to say about these guys nope let's move on into the next one so BAM they're gonna come up with a step up and you guys can see that the step up is really 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 nice so for 20,000 lapis basically your first step 3 plus 1, you're guaranteed a 4 star unit. Step 2, eight, uh, 7 plus 1 unit, guaranteed a 4 star. And on step 3, basically you do a 10 plus 1 with a 5000 Lapis, you're guaranteed a 5% Mughal. On step 4, 10% Mughal. And on step 5, you're guaranteed Lilith or Lucius, which is super cool. Uh, I hope you guys can pull them, seriously. Uh, if you guys are going for them, I hope you guys can pull them. I wanna, and I seriously hope you guys are going to be as uh, maybe luckier than uh, I was for Citra. So uh, yeah, let's put it out there. You guys, hopefully you're going to be lucky and pull the units that you want. Then, also we're going to get some Abilities Awakening uh, on after Thursday's maintenance. If I'm not mistaken, they said uh, William... Rubicante, Cagnasso, Barbaricha, which is really, really nice because she got her 7-star uh, version, so she's going to be able to dish out even more damage. We have Pirate Jake, Grimlord Sakura, uh, Illusius Nicole, and also Chloe. And the good thing about these units right here, especially uh, Grimlord Sakura, uh, Demon Rain, Draclu Laswell, and Grimlord Sakura, they announced it. They will get their 7 stars. So guys, if you have one or two of them, you will be able to make them 7 stars. And uh, they're going to be no joke. Apparently, uh, Demon Rain is going to be a super, super true double hand tank. Uh, Dracula at last well will be able to triple cast some of his abilities. And um, Grimlord Sakura will be dishing out a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. So guys, if you have multiple of them, you will be able to make them seven star and hopefully if you never got your illusions nickel you will be able to pull for him and uh, maybe get a copy of him which is really really good guys so uh yeah these are uh these are really good news so this halloween it's gonna be pretty pretty sick so let's move on to the next one they announced the uh, chamber of the indignant indignant i have a hard time saying that word so sworn of the marching beast is finally coming out this thursday after maintenance so you guys will be able to fight nine bosses in a row and basically get the demon male plus attack 18 defense 55 and boost resistance to dark by 50 percent which is really nice so this thing is finally coming out this thursday after maintenance that's what they announced then moving on to the next one Chamber of the Arms, or a trial of arms, or a 10-man trial, whatever you guys want to call it, uh, you'll be able to fight Shala. So Shala, uh, the way they explained it, on the first turn, she's going to do a pre uh, preemptive strike, so she's going to attack first, and she's going to be dropping a lot of status ailments on your party. So make sure you're geared for that. And uh, the completion reward, you get the Gaia Bell with attack 35, magic 46, spirit 104, and... Uh, Earth resistance plus 30% and inflict to paralyze 30%. So I'm not sure if it's a counter move the way it works or she basically increased her resistance to paralyze by 30%. But um, yeah, really, really nice. And it's a one handed weapon, guys. So this is really cool because most of these uh, instruments, they're a two handed weapon. And this one is a one handed weapon, which lots of spirit, which is also really, really nice. And uh, basically, this is what we get after maintenance on thursday and uh if i'm not mistaken i have one more is that the last one is that the last one yeah it was the last one so uh also they announced which is really really cool uh valkyrie profile and so if you guys love valkyrie profile and uh, you were a big fan of valkyrie profile basically on the uh, october 26 so in two weeks yeah two weeks from now the collaboration between Valkyrie and FFB will come out. It's going to come out as a raid event and you guys will be able to summon 
some of the units from the Valkyrie profile story. So guys, these are really, really exciting news. Uh, hopefully this was helpful a little bit for you guys to drop the news a little bit faster than, uh, than expected. But these are really cool news and I just wanted to share them with you guys. So hopefully this will uh, help you out a little bit on uh, keeping your Lapis, maybe not pulling for Citra and keeping your resources for this Friday and pulling those new units. Guys! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe down below if you are new to this channel and leave a like on this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.